The Liberty Paintball team has been a nationally known program since it officially became a club sport in the fall of 2008. And in 2018, the Flames were able to win the program's first ever national championship. But the program might not have become the household name it is in the paintball community if it had not been for the efforts of Todd Hoagland, who helped steer the team in the right direction. So the paintball team was a thing. Uh, it was a club and they were doing well. They, they were competitive uh, with the group of guys that were here then. And then when club sports really started to grow as a as an entity here at Liberty, um, they looked to the paintball team to come on as a club sport. And then it just became more and more responsibility and more and more uh, requirements from club sports, which I loved. And then more and more opportunity to, to grow the sport in the area. Uh, and then having the, the idea of the, cam uh, of the fields being built on campus was huge. And um, it just started to take off from there. After coming on as the program's head coach, it didn't take long for Hoagland to not only make this young program nationally ranked, but also help make it a household name in the paintball community. Really, we became known for our play style and then also our off the field behavior. We were there, you know, being respectful and honoring our opponents and praying with them after the matches and, and that stood out to people. And so we really became known for our attitude about things, but then also our play style. We were always a very aggressive paintball team and people know you're in for a game when you're playing Liberty. Our play style and our uh, attitude and all was really starting to be recognized and we started to receive like fans of Liberty paintball. You know, kids would write me and say, hey, when I go to college, I want to go to Liberty because of your paintball team and we love the university. I attended a Seafall before I started at Liberty, and so uh, prior to arriving, I messaged Todd on one of the uh, paintball forums and reached out to him and said, hey, I'm coming out for a Seafall. Do you mind if I, uh, if I practice with the team during that weekend? I got to know Todd a little bit, met the paintball team, and loved the program, so when I decided to come to Liberty, um, that's when I committed to, to joining the paintball team. It was really cool getting to, getting to play on the team with Todd leading us, and he really called us to um, just a higher standard when it came to our, our level of play, when it came to the way we carried ourselves. We would have players from all over the place come and you know talk to us at events and say, hey, you guys are awesome, we love what y'all are doing, uh, and it's really because of our players. You know, Our players really took to heart the, the idea that we were trying to you know, be more than just a paintball team, we were trying to be uh, you know, champions for Christ. Hoagland would find numerous success during his tenure at Liberty, including having the Flames ranked number one in the nation, as well as lead them to three Final Four appearances in the National Collegiate Paintball Association's National Championships. But after six seasons with the paintball team, he would decide to make the decision to step away from the program and have his former captain and assistant coach, Brian Davidson, take over for him. It was a, it was a pretty smooth transition with uh, with now the current head coach Brian Davidson moving into the head coach role, it's a very smooth transition. But of course, with any kind of change, there's um, you know it just takes a little bit of time to adjust. Um, you know their coaching styles were a little bit different. Thankfully, Brian was you know one, one of our top players at Liberty, and um, you know, he spent a lot of time with Todd. And so again, the transition was very smooth, and, and Brian maintained that um, that mentality of just calling everyone to a higher standard. Um, on and off the field. And when Club Sports came to me and asked me, you know, who, who do you think could do this job? And I said, it's going to be Brian. Um, he, he's got things to learn uh, as far as handling the, the administration of a team, but he definitely has the coaching knowledge and he's got the heart behind it all. And with Davidson at the helm, alongside former captain, assistant coach Aaron Thompson, the Flames would finally achieve their goal of winning the program's first ever NCPA national title in 2018. A goal that was set many years ago while they played for Hoagland, which they credit him for helping them win their national title, as he would put the program on the foundation, leading them to their national winning moment. He certainly set us on a trajectory toward you know, just a, a higher standard of of always being in the running, of always being a top level competitor, even in the years to follow after he left. You know, we, we, we were finally able to realize that victory, that first place win, but you know, Todd played a huge role in that. You know, he, he built us up. He, he, he spent time you know, pouring into the players that he was able to coach. And so here I am and you know, the current coach, Brian Davidson, he, he learned a lot. He learned a lot of what he knows from, from Todd. And so you know, we were able to kind of live on that legacy and kind of pass that down. 
and with the foundation that Hoagland was able to set, he was rewarded for his efforts by being inducted into the 2018 Liberty Club Sports Hall of Fame class. I gave so much time and effort into the team here at Liberty um, and so much love. I mean, it was a big part of my heart and still is, still is. You know, when I see um, them winning a national championship, my, I mean, I cried during that. But when uh, I got the phone call saying that I was, um, you know, nominated and, and voted in, um, it's a huge honor. It's a huge honor to um, be recognized for, for the work I did, uh, even though it was just such a small part of what the program has, has become. Not only does he take the opportunities on the field to coach us, but he takes opportunities off the field to, you know, to get to know the players, get to know our friends and our families that come out and um, just maintain relationships. He's, he's the kind of coach that, um, you know, he, he, he left a legacy here. And so it, it just completely makes sense that he's being inducted into the Hall of Fame. You know, my heart has always been uh, with Liberty. Uh, ever since I, I came to Liberty in 2007 as a student, uh, my wife and I moved here to, to earn our master's degrees, and we grew our family in Lynchburg. And it's, it's truly because of uh, the Liberty community and the Liberty family, um, but even more specifically, the paintball team. And, you know, I look at the players that have gone through the, the Liberty team, and those guys are my, are, are my kids. Those guys are my brothers. Um, and I absolutely love uh, the variety of people that have been through the team. And I love to hear that, you know, the hard work and the time and the effort and the, the blood, sweat and tears that I put into um, the program uh, ultimately resulted in a, a national championship just a few years after I left um, with some of the players that I coached. And that's, that's where uh, I love to hang my hat on. Hopefully continued on the mindset I, I tried to instill in them of why do we do what we do and that's a share the love of Christ.